now it's all just Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be sharing with you a recipe for an after sun spray. So this usually is when you've had either been sunburnt and you want something to soothe that sort of sore, dry, cracked, maybe red, just inflamed skin. Or if you feel like you've just had a little bit too much sun, not to the point where you get sunburnt, but where you just feel that the skin's quite hot, it's dry, it's um, flaky, it just feels like the moisture has been drawn out of it and it's just on the verge of where it's probably just not quite burnt but it's just had a little bit too much sun and you just feel quite dried out, like a prune. So this can be very helpful for that. It contains aloe vera which is just wonderful for soothing skin and it contains lavender again which is also really great for soothing dry or inflamed skin. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's, try and let's get started in making it. I will share the recipe to making this after sun spray in the description below as well as I'll share a post about what other uses lavender can be used for such as wound healing, inflammation, hair growth, in other recipes as a tincture and so many different things and I just love to talk about lavender because I'm growing lavender at the moment in my garden as most of you know so I've just been trying to find as many different uses as I can for lavender and as well I'll be using my homemade lavender essential oil today so my lavender infused oil, which I'm really excited about using. I've been using it in so many different things, especially in like baths and face masks, in my body soaps, so many different things. I've just been loving them. And I just honestly love the smell. Oh, it smells so good. Love lavender. It seriously is my favorite scent. So I'll be using these bad boys today. But you guys can feel free just to use plain old lavender essential oil that you can get from the store. I'll be using a little bit of both but mainly my homemade lavender essential oil. The reason why I was looking into making my own after sun spray today was because at work, I'm, I'm a lifeguard, but not, not beach lifeguard before any of you go, what, that's so cool. I'm just a pool lifeguard, so it's a little bit easier than a beach lifeguard, but we do see a lot of sun. And as we're heading into summer, I find that as I'm out in the sun more, getting lovely and tanned, but I find that I'm still getting that sort of dry skin afterwards just from being out in the sun a little bit too long. Not to the point where I get burnt, I'm very careful about that, but I do feel my skin just a little bit dry and I want to protect my skin and keep it as youthful as possible by keeping it hydrated and like moisturising things, but I also want to protect it against the sun's heat and rays and not to get too much sun and just against the elements. Don't mind that. <laughs> should have put my phone on silent um, and just protect my skin against the elements around me and wind like wind sun and just other elements that can dry out skin so that's why I want to make this after sun spray today I got my spray bottles from Amazon online so I'll link in the description below where you can find them as well um, these were just really good ones otherwise you can find them at the store or you can get secondhand ones I imagine I just haven't found a secondhand store that does provide that yet I'll let you know what I do though. So I wanted to make my after sun spray to take to work with me so that when I'm out in the sun I can just apply it onto my skin when I feel like I might be getting a little bit too much sun or just to help in preventing too much sun damage I guess. So yeah, that's my long little story of why I wanted to make this after sun spray today but I'm sure you guys have many other different reasons why you'd like to use it. Feel free to share in the description below what you're going to use it for or like if you have another recipe for an after sun spray that is different to this one please share, I'd love to try it out. But if you want to try this one out, feel free to stick around. We're going to make that one right now. To make the spray, you want to first combine all the ingredients together. So grab your witch hazel, add that in, then grab the aloe vera. I used aloe vera from my garden, so I had to scoop out the gel inside that. But if you're buying pure aloe vera gel from the health food store, this might be much quicker. Just simply pour that into the cup where all the other ingredients are going to go. So I just scooped it out and then added it in by hand. The benefit of using pure aloe vera gel from your garden is that it's really fresh, so you get the most health benefits from it. Then you want to add in your essential oils. I added in essential oils that I made, so the lavender essential oils, but if you're not using that, you can just add in lavender essential oil and peppermint essential oil. However, if you do use peppermint essential oil, just add in a little bit at a time and test a little bit on your skin, as sometimes very sensitive skin can find it too intense. So if your sunburn is very intense, adding more peppermint oil may cause it to feel quite uncomfortable. So just test a little bit and see how it goes from there for your skin. 
Then once you've added in the essential oils, you're going to stir it all together and pour it into your spray bottle. I just used a plastic spray bottle that I found on Amazon, which I will link below for you guys so you can find it there. Otherwise, you can look for spray bottles like this at local stores or $2 shops. Now when you're applying it, make sure you shake well before use just because the ingredients can separate, which is natural, but just because there's no additives in there so they can easily separate, which means that once you shake it up, you'll help to combine it again. And then once you've shaken it, apply generously to skin that needs cooling and soothing. Just be sure to avoid spraying around your eyes as it's a very sensitive area and may sting. The spray feels a bit sticky at first, but this quickly dissipates as it dries. You can reapply as often as needed. I resprayed every half hour or so at first whenever I got burnt, then went down to three times a day, then once a day until it had completely faded. But go off how your skin is going and how you're healing. Alrighty. So when you go to use it, you want to make sure you shake it up first once you have your lovely spray. And then all you do is just apply a lovely amount, so a liberal amount, to your skin, which is whichever bit is affected. And rub it in. It smells absolutely amazing. Oh, it smells so nice. And that is instantly so soothing. Like even my skin was just a tad dry before, because I haven't moisturized today. And Putting that on, oh, it's like its own moisturizer. It's so nice. And if you see her in the background, she is biting that bottle. Stop it! Look where you go. Why well, my back is turned? Stop it! As soon as I'm not looking, she's back at it again. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It can feel sticky at the start, but it's better than feeling dry and flaky. So it will wear away after a while once it's finished being absorbed in. But honestly, it's so so moisturizing, so soothing. Best thing out. So I'm going to pack this in my bag and take it to work with me or whenever I go out in the sun like to the beach or just when I'm going out in the sun for like long periods of time. I'm going to bring this bad boy with me. <laughs> Thank you so much guys for sticking out this whole video with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think and if you try it out or if you have another recipe like I said before, feel free to share. I'd love to hear. Thank you so much for sticking this whole video out with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I really do and I hope to see you guys in my future videos. Bye.